Hello everyone, welcome to the 10th episode of Learn Operatic Singing with Louis Ong. This episode is going to fill you with excitement, fireworks and energy because we are going to talk about running notes today. Including running notes exercise in your vocal warm-up routine is essential because it keeps your voice flexible, light, young, and it also prepares your voice for the challenge you may find in repertoire from the Baroque period by Mozart or from the bel canto operas, especially those written by Rossini. Now let's take a look at the complete running notes exercise. Do not get intimidated by this exercise. I will divide it into three parts for easier practice and for you to get familiar with the shape of it. The first part includes notes within a range of fifth. The second part includes notes within a range of ninth. And the third part includes notes within a range of 11th. Combine all three parts and you get this beautiful long phrase filled with running notes. Earlier in this video, I showed you this exercise in three different keys, B flat major, B major, and C major. You are encouraged to play with this exercise in different keys. Always start lower and work your way up to higher register. You may also choose to sing this exercise with either U or E vowel. These two closed vowels are my favorites in running notes because they really help you get a more focused sound and they also help you to run relatively easier compared to A, E and O vowels. Now let's apply this technique to a repertoire. For example, let's look at an excerpt from Sibilar Languidaletto from Handel's Rinaldo. The first step to learn this phrase is to divide it into smaller parts. Here we'll divide it into two parts. These three bars in the first part are identical, and the rest in the second part is slightly more complex. As you can see, the first part includes notes within a range of fifth, from lower A to higher E, and the second part includes notes within a range of an octave, from lower E to higher E. The second step is to learn all these notes with either U or E vowel. Since I've already demonstrated to you with U vowel earlier, we will now use E vowel instead. The first part. The second part. Once you have the notes down, the third part is to combine these two parts into one phrase. Finally, the fourth step is to sing through this phrase with text. Here's a quick summary of all four steps in learning a piece with running notes. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave us a message if you have any questions or suggestions. Have fun practicing and thank you so much for watching.